In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21 from the Trips tight end offset formation in the New York Jets offensive playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. One of the ways we do that is through doing these tips and tricks for you every single day here on YouTube. We help you get better on the offensive side of the ball as well as helping you get better on the defensive side of the ball. And so if you have not already hit the subscribe button, I wanna encourage you to do so. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And basically all you gotta do is click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen that's going to let you know whenever we release new videos all right guys so if you don't know um my text message membership is something that i think every one of my people who follow me every one of you that want to get better at this game one of the easiest ways to do that is through my text message membership and we're gonna get to the tip here in just a second but my text message membership is basically a free thing that I do for my community. All you have to do to sign up for it is simply text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. That's my cell phone number. It's also in the top left hand corner of the screen. And what that's gonna do is every single Saturday, I sit down and basically break down a one hour full scheme, whether it be a defensive scheme or an offensive scheme. And so the past week, I broke down for one hour this entire trips tight end offset offensive scheme. And so if you wanna get that video, literally all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. That number is also in the description. It's also in the top left hand corner. I also have other schemes as well in this ebook or in this uh, playlist. I have the bunch tight end in here i have the bunch formation i have the spread i have the u trips i have the um the uh, trips tight end formation okay there's a lot of things in there also defensively i have the 335 wide i have the big nickel over g and other popular defenses as well and so my point in saying all of this to you is to let you know if you want to get all of those schemes all 15 of them and i think it's actually 16 by now we're going to continue to update that throughout the season as well every single week we will release this video for you all you have to do is text the word Madden to my cell phone number, which again is 208-218-6900. Okay guys, so I wanted to share with you this trips tight end offset and today we're gonna to be talking about the play Flood. Now this is probably one of my favorite passing plays in the entire game, especially from a set like this, because there's a little adjustment that you can make that in my opinion makes this form or makes this play that much better. Literally all we're going to do is we're going to take the square receiver here and we're going to put him on an out route and then we're going to put the circle receiver on a streak. And the last thing that I'm going to do is basically create a simple route combination on the right side of the field. One of my favorite things to do here is to simply take the running back and put him on a little in route. And then I'm gonna take the tight end and essentially I can do all kinds of whatever I want to. But I personally like to block and release fade with a double team so I can roll out if everything breaks down. But basically what this is, is this is a right side or a left side flood. So against man coverage, my favorite route to hit, to be honest with you, is this little running back in route. I think this running back in route is super, super underrated. Um, if you wanna leave this flat, so for example, if you wanna leave it just like this, you certainly can, um, the same, the concept will still work. As you see, once he kinda of gets into open space, you're just gonna check down to the running back. The other thing that I really like against man-to-man -man coverage is this route to the triangle receiver. Now, um, it doesn't always get open if they don't have an ability on them. That's where it comes down to a little bit of route running. As long as you have good route running, this route will get open. But again, you're just gonna wait for him to cut outside. And as you can see there, that slot out route has been effective all season long. It's no different from this formation right here. Now, what about cover two? So if they run cover two, uh, this little fade route on the left side basically has a nice little window of opportunity to be outside pass led. If you don't want to run the fade route, you can run um, you can run the streak up the seam, and that sim similar concept will work against cover two as well, as long as they don't user it, right? So if they don't user this, and you could even do something as simple as streak to tight end, I like to block and release fade in, but you'll see here if the yellows come down on the running back route, then you're gonna have that nice little pocket to be able to throw that streak right up the seam against your opponent. The other thing this is really good against is things like 
Mabel coverage, which let me show you what that is, where basically the defense is double flatting on both sides. And the reason this is so powerful um, is because of the it was because you have that out route on that square receiver. It's gonna really pull those zones out of the way. And as you'll see, this little pocket right here is gonna be wide open to hit Lazard once he cuts to the outside. Now, one of the other things that you can do against Mabel coverage in particular, this is where the delay fade, in my opinion, really, really shines um, as far as it being a effective tactic to be able to really work against a lot of the things that the defense is gonna do. So you'll see here with that delay fade to the tight end, I'm just gonna release that fade. And as you see here, he's gonna come right underneath uh, the deep blue zones. Obviously he's gonna get over top of most of the yellow zones. So you have that read right there. Another thing that you have with this is this running back route. The beauty of this being an offset formation is this running back is in a nice position to be able to be motioned outside. He could pretty much, there's a lot of things that you can do with this running back, okay? And I do want you to be aware of that. But the best thing, in my opinion, like I said, is these, these little quick routes are gonna do so good for you. So again, you'll see here this little running back little in route against zone, he doesn't get held up as much. And as you can see, he's gonna get out into the open field and be able to do a really nice job for you at getting open against zone coverage. The running back route is almost impossible to guard in zone, especially when the way people play this year. Uh, now, if they put a yellow zone over here, I will say that uh, that's where I like to, again, use that delay fade tactic. So they have to put a yellow zone on both sides. Most of the time they won't, but as you'll see here, this little drop it here and we'll do a little double juke to get up field. Now, the other thing that I really like about this is let's say that they don't Mabel coverage, right? Let's just say they run hard flats on both sides of the field. This flood concept is really, really good for that. You'll see here that triangle receiver is going to get wide open. If they're just playing hard flats, maybe they're sending some pressure at you or something like that. You're going to be able to hit that out route with confidence. Obviously, it beats man coverage. Uh, let me show you uh, something like a cover four drop here. If they're not playing hard flats out there, if they're using those, again, to force them to have to Mabel, they have to use those hard flats. Now, one other thing that you can do with this play uh, that I haven't talked about just yet, especially if you have like a hot route master, you could put your tight end on a post route um if you want to do something like that you could also if you want to you can leave him on his little little route that he's on and then what i like to do is take that uh running back in that situation i'm almost always either going to put that running back on a streak or likely going to put him on an option route so something like this right here this is really good against man coverage you'll see that that option route will get open pretty much every single time against man. Now, another option that you do have is the smart routed option round. Now, this is uh, really primarily used for situations like something like a Tampa 2. You can put that tight end on the flat. You can smart route that option route. And then a lot of times that running back will get basically wide open against the, the zones if they're dropping their hook curls underneath. Now, the other thing that this is gonna do is let's say that they're in a Mabel coverage type of situation. They gotta drop that three wreck over there for the delayed fade. So then they're just basically at this point running out of zones. Um, and all you're gonna do is you're just going to do something like this combination right here. I would probably in this situation, I mean, you can do all kinds of things, but if you watch this circle receiver, because there's no yellow zone, this circle receiver is gonna get wide open if they're running just a traditional Mabel with no yellow zone over on that side, you're gonna be able to easily hit this over and over and over again. So this is a concept that you can rely on. This is simply a yard gainer. Um, the reality is it's, it's, I mean, it does have some big play potential, but for the most part, this is just a simple yard gainer. There's several different ways you can set this up to be successful. This is just simply one of those ways. But as you can see here, I mean, this out route is absolute money from the slot. You can also motion it out and create an in route if you wanted to. But this is just one of the many setups that we have broken down for you in my text message membership and so if you're not a part of that again i want to encourage you to go ahead and text the word madden to 208-218-6900 it should automatically send you the playlist as soon as we release new videos you'll get a link to the playlist where you can always check it every week if you want to see when it gets updated most of the times it's saturday evening that this gets updated but in my opinion this is one of the best offenses in the game right now because it's a very balanced offense you don't just 
have good passing, but you also have some of the best runs in the entire game. This RPO trap bur uh, bubble literally just won Clef the God um, thousands of dollars in the Madden uh, challenge because it's so hard to stop. It's so hard to stop consistently, and it's going to be an absolute money run for you. We're going to teach you how to build a whole scheme around that running play, including passing plays uh, and then even other running plays when they start over playing it. So if you want to get that full trips tight end offset scheme, go ahead and text the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is 208-218-6900. Thanks for your time, guys.